What are we doing now? We're gonna watch Cinderella musical. Cinderella! Cinderella. Oh, we're here. We're here. Okay, you want to show the face? Hey, look at me. Oh, look at me. Oh. <laughs> How was that? It was so good, wasn't so it? Great, right? What do you think? Georgie Courage Cole, how are you? I'm alright, how are you? I am very well. It's another lovely morning, right? It is, it's good as autumn gets. Where are we today? At the Russell and Bromley Spring Summer Presti. What are we hoping to see? A new collection. done quite a bit with us recently. They asked if I'd come along and have a look in person. So here I am. I'm wearing Russell and Bromley boots today. I love their shoes. In fact, a girlfriend said to me the other day, where do I go for shoes that aren't horribly expensive and are nice? And I'd say Russell and Bromley really bridge the gap between high street and designer. And they're comfy. They're big fans. Such good quality as well, right? Really good quality. You know it all right. Hello. Hello. Lovely to meet you. Hi, Grace. Lovely to meet you. I'm wearing your boots. I know you're They are so great. I love them. I'm excited to have a look. Should we give you a little tour? Yes, Bright acid colours, animal prints, metallic, platform, and kitten heels. I love those. We're definitely bringing the party. 70s party vibe. That kind of restorative want for optimism again. Everybody needs it. The last 18 months, absolutely. Really comfy your shoes. I can wear these all day. These are new spring set. Noodle. We've got them in a nude and an orange. I love these. They're gorgeous and they're just as comfortable. That is a really nice orange. Orange is the colour for spring summer. The colour of the season. Yeah. Every style in Russell and Bromley across all of the entire range has a name. Farewell and far out. Groovy baby. Spritz. Bellini. Oh, I just want to see what that looks like on my foot. I've never tried on a shoe like that. I had those on yesterday. I was about six foot. The silver. How did it feel to be six foot? Great. I could look down on everyone. Oh, look, those are cool. They're amazing. Yeah. Look at that. Hat. That is really cool. This is very much minimal chic, so it's very understated. Parisian chic, a lot of quilting, mm -hmm. adding, that's just through. Those ones that you love. Elastic at the back. Yeah. See, this is how cool Ross and Bromley shoes are, people. How wicked are they? Love mm -hmm. them. These are great. Those. And we're getting more experimental with our fashion, driving that forward. I think it's important for us as a heritage British brand. We always have a nod to our timeless classic pieces, and the ballet pump is one of those. Personally, one, two, three, winner, winner. And actually, I even think those are really cool. That's cute, isn't it? It's really sweet. I like him. Nice, right? Grunge section going on. Platform, uh -huh. big chunky sandal. They're yeah. cool. They are cool. With a big dress or something. Yes. They would ground it, give it a bit of toughness, wouldn't they? Conquer bit. I've got a favour of snake. That's <laughs> as close as yeah. I'm going to get. We've got the black. <laughs> Okay, that's They're really light. That is really deceptively light. Amazing. Like those. Hand sway, raffia. Oh, look, gorgeous. I love yeah. those. Yeah, really fun. She was a nice pale wash that you yeah, I don't think they'd suit me no, no, specifically. No, no, actually, there are no rules now, Rich. <laughs> no, there are no rules. Post pandemic, let's go. You wear a pair of those. <laughs> they are really nice. Love that slight platform. Where do you stand on the clogs, Georgie? It's a bit of me. Yeah? Embrace the clock. I don't hate them. It's nice that, isn't it? Good size. It's really nice. That's very chic, isn't yeah. it? You can see a very elegant woman carrying that. Me too. What's your favourite? On here. I would say those. Those. This. Those would be my top three. These are your top picks? From this shelf. Oh, just from that shelf? Okay, great. Quite a lot I like on that <laughs> yeah. shelf. These. These. I'd have those in both colours, I think. These. Alright, so basically everything. Quick, why don't you tell me what you don't like? I can squeeze those into my summer wardrobe too. What about the party set? These, these, those are my party section. Quite fond of those too. How's that? Perfect. Mm. Such a nice collection. It's, it's an armful of fun right there. Yeah, I like that. I think that's yeah. the one that caught my eye the most. If I like you this. weren't wearing our overtakes. No, the rest of them. These are really nice, aren't they? I like those. Wow. Well, my husband has a bit of bright colour. I'm not so keen. Like, my husband was in the office yesterday in jeans, pair of trainers, and a blazer and a shirt. I came home and I thought, that's a good look. He's just not wearing suits like he used to. I think those are really nice for a man looking for smart, casual. Go out to a restaurant in the evening with a blazer. I think that's really nice. Fabulous. Shoes. Love them. The Russell and Bromley Spring Summer Presti. These do not look at how anemically white my feet look. These shoes are beyond comfy. You can't buy them yet, but anyway, this is what's to come. That elastic is just so cool. Love them. Love you to see you, babe. Thank you so much. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. What are you doing now? Just check over the email. Charlotte's on the show. Laura's in a shoot. Two is off. I'm rather depleted right now. Hiya. Hi, Georgie. It's Harriet. Hi Harriet, thanks for calling. That key for life integrated. I think we need to design something. Let's have comfy trainers, cozy roll neck, scrap that, chic roll neck. What to wear to winter event. Chic roll neck and an epic starter. Thank you and then good to go. Are you waiting on anything? No, we're good to go after that. Okay, perfect. She is 
on it. Where are we going now? I just need to pop into Celine. I'm not sure if you remember to film, but you can try. Hi. 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 This is simple in touch with someone about me exchanging something. Are you Bethan? No, I'm not, but she's a close one. Gosh, these are beautiful. Look at these. Very nice. How's it feel to be in the Celine? Gorgeous. Is this your happy place? I mean, it's one of them. I'm not going to lie. My girlfriends gave me some earrings on my 40th last year. It's very nice of them. I wear quite a big hoop. They're just a bit small for me. I felt like it was such a waste. I adore these. I really need a new little wallet. Is this new, this last B thing? Yeah. Hodge just got. She's just got the bag. Bigger black version of that. It's nice, right? Really nice. Look at this guy. What is this guy for? What's this for? Yeah. Can you guess this? Lipstick. Yeah. Okay, great. Even a mirror, so you can apply it. It's cute, right? It's very cute, yeah. So what are you exchanging them for, Georgie? Oh, Voyage of Discovery. Insane. All right, good. try one out for me. They are honestly it's just What's that the one? most luxurious. My friend actually bought this in Paris the other day. What's this one called? Oh, Reptile. Feel free to do. Right? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I'm you not sorry. film me? No. Okay. okay. So how was that? Good. I'm pleased with my belt. You got a great big. Uh, I know. You are anyway. not allowed to film in the Celine store. Bit. We might sneak a bit of footage in. Right. Anyway, I'm else. very pleased with my belt. Have a convenience store. What are you going to get from the convenience store? Oh, look, you get this. Dipped pretzels. I bet you they're delicious. That's the dark cake, actually. I thought you'd quit that at some point. Yeah. You're going to get kombucha instead. I love a kombucha as well. I love a kombucha. No, what? Oh, yeah, go on then. I'll have a kombucha. I'm going to have a kombucha and the diet coke. <laughs> Only you. Is that okay? Yeah, I do. And I might get a smoothie as well. Whoa. Literally a liquid lunch. You know what I love? No, tell me. I really like these drinks. They're really good. The original and best. It's like a grey cereal bar or something. Oh, it's my phone on the till and you've abandoned it. <laughs> it's not my fault. Oh, I don't want to bag, thanks. Yeah, no, it look really nice in oh, the Celine. Oh, with my Celine bag, that's <laughs> what I thought. I should have gone for a big bag, shouldn't I? Right. Would you like a big bag? I was trying to be environmentally friendly. It's got so much to carry. Yeah, that's the problem with buying stuff. Once you've bought it, you've got to carry it. Thank you so much. Georgie, where are we going now? Buy Alice Popper. She sources some amazing antiques, puts them on her Instagram, and it's literally like fast as fingers first. It's pretty reasonable stuff. But I think she's also really talented at upcycling. I think she's brought out her own brand. Hi there. Is this where there's a Buy Alice? Yeah, that's it. Oh, fast. Oh, it's down for that pop up. Oh, <laughs> Alice. I'm Alice, yeah. Lovely, popping the sick what's an array of loveliness. It's the first time we've done a proper independent pop-up. So you've just tried to like squeeze in as much as possible. And now you're developing a lot of your own products. Yes, yeah. I've got such a love for vintage, so it all sort of started with that. I love traveling, so whenever I've been away, I've always found loads of amazing makers and crafts people. Just thought I'd kind of introduce that to the brand. So these are antiques, what, that you've reupholstered? I work with a really lovely lady who just has her own upholstery business. We did these two here. Oh my God, look at that. Oh it was quite popular in the 80s. That's a lovely chair, That's right? That's so sweet, isn't so it? So I almost don't know where to look next. Are these antiques then? Yes. A pair of antique chairs. I work with an amazing furniture restorer. And I have the rush pads redone by a lady in Brighton. Oh, yeah. how nice. How it's nice the that you could sit yeah, like that. Yeah, really, really fun. High it's 20 on. antique bobbin chair. Wow, that is heaven. It's Linwood fabric. Yeah, I know that fabric. Egg glasses. This is our New. range. This is my collaboration with one of my best friends who started a brand called The Glass Studio. I have these. Do you? We have two, and there are water glasses by our beds. My husband and I. I mean, these plates as well. These, I found these. I was in Rome and I found heritage pottery. They've been making them for years and years and years. Oh, That's I love exciting. And pricing on these? 45 for the large plate. Lovely. I need those in my garden in the summer. From a New York designer called Deborah Rowe. Those are gorgeous, Alice. As is this tableware. They're all made in England. Yeah, New Jane. ones over here as well for winter. It's timeless, really. And your lovely candlesticks. I just don't know if I could burn one. How marbled in Italy. So, where do you discover all this? On like Instagram online, naturally nosy and curious. For forever. It's been like a passion and a laugh. Just always looking for new exciting things. All handmade in England. Murano baubles. I've got my eye on this. That's a vintage opaline. Oh, beautiful, how much is it? It's 120. And my husband's going to give it to me for Christmas. Oh I'm going my to gosh. give it Stop to him. It. And Georgie, I'm so happy that's going to you. But that's a Murano from the 80s. Oh wow. Don't break well, him. Incredible. What's the price point on that? 720. And Quite right. Do you yeah. know what? That is art. Do you know how much fun my little girls would have well, with these? Well that's they're all hand painted in Italy. Just so Wow. 60s Vaseline glass. You're having so much fun here, aren't you, Georgie? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love Super. those. Have you made these? Yes. I have a heart table, I think it's fantastic. Yeah, it's great. All handmade in England and hand lacquered. Wonderful cushions. Brand called Amuse Le Bouche. Sarah Corbett Window would love these. She would, not she? She'd have a lot here. in here. Oh, did she? Did she? She was here on Tuesday. Yeah. Give me your top three picks of the store. What, I'm buying one of them. Yeah. I already own my glass. These face mats. I'm You're having this three. set as a one. Number two, I'm going with this set of bobbin chairs. Number three. I mean, I like that chair. 
Cheshire too. This is pretty cool. Really different. Like you can get them in any raw colour. It's really cool. I love it. I haven't seen that before. Yeah. How did that go? It was great. Ross and Ronnie was fab. Got my belt from Celine and just loved everything at by Alice. I love what she's doing. Quite a mix, hey? Anyway, I gotta go. Bye bye. Bye. Good evening, pals. Hiya. You shall go to the mall. You excited? Yeah. What are we doing now? We're going to Cinderella the Musical. Are you a musicals fan? Yeah. Do you have a favourite one? I'm not favorite sure. musical too. Oh, Mama Mia. What's your favourite musical? I booked Mary Poppins for the Easter after lockdown started last year. When we went into lockdown, I think the thing I was saddest about was that I didn't get to see my children to see Mary well, Poppins. We're going again to see. Are you going to go again? Finally, we booked it. We're going in between Christmas and New Year. And this time Mimi's coming because she's a bit older. Was Mimi not going to come last time? She was only two. Was she? She was three, she was three, she was three. Yeah. Still a three-year-old. To a full-scale musical, it's a bit much. It should be five this time. Exactly. Where so. are we going now? We're going to the Bloomsbury at Downey Terrace. Really lovely winter terrace. Top tip. Down the supper, bit of food, and press screening of Cinderella the musical. There are some perks to my job, Coco. Yeah, tough day at the office, right? Christmas markets now. That looks festive, doesn't it? If we had a bit more time. That's fun, isn't it? That's really fun. We're here, we're here, we're here, guys. Great. Thank you. Hiya. Oh, we're just arriving. Remember? This is what we did the Mother's Day shoot. I do remember, yeah. How lovely is it in here? It's really nice. I forget to come here. Yeah. <laughs> Rich, this is Ava. Hey Ava, how are you doing? Hello. Are you excited? Yeah. What are we doing now? We're going to watch Cinderella Musical. I'm Shelton actually going to play Pissa the Bay. Oh wow, that sounds fun. Do you have many lines? No, not many. Are you a good singer? Yeah. I can't sing. Can you sing? How do you sing for the county? I know, what, in I like a competition? Alto or a soprano. That is range, darling. How do you feel about going to see Cinderella? It's Cinderella. Cinderella! Cheers, guys. Rich, you know, this really feels like the start of Christmas. I know. Today. Hodge, what do you want, Anne? Huh? Rich, will you have a bit of crab? Yeah, I'll definitely have a bit of crab. My cake plate. Do you have a cake plate? Okay. Cake. You have cake a cake, plate. are you? Ava, hey, what have you got there? Chips and toasty. What have we ordered? Two crab and a tempura and some olives. Those chips. Oh. Is your own chips? Tax, tax, tax. <laughs> too much tax. How's the crab? Mm. Not really good. How was your little snack here at Dalloway Terrace? Good. It was so good. So nice here. I actually can stay. Should we just stay here all evening? Yeah. I no, no, no. Cinderella awaits. It's such a cozy hotel. And actually, if you look in there, cozy sitting room with fireplace. Lovely so fringed nice. chairs. Ooh. Oh. Where do you stand on fringing? I'm <laughs> down a treat. I know, it does, doesn't it? If I could pick this up and take it home, I would. Oh, it's lovely. The fringing. So, Are you excited? Good slash excited. Ava, what is the story of Cinderella? These are ugly stepsisters, stepmother, stepmother's bossy. She gets left behind. Fairy mother comes. Fairy godmother. Godmother <laughs> turns her into a <laughs> beautiful princess. A she dances with a prince, drinks at midnight, has to go away. The prince finds her shoe and they marry happily ever after. Oh, we're here. Why well, are we having our photo there? I don't know. She looks great. Oh, is that not a guy from Gossip Girl, is it? No. I don't know. He's got some swag on him. Oh, I'm sorry, this one here, please. Sir, just buy please, sir. Right, you ready? You got your poses sorted? No. <laughs> Do you want to go for Run, 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 go, go, go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's get her. Let's get her. We love her, we love her. Look, to your right here, please. Over here, come on, come on, just wait, please. Ava, 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 look at me. Great, fun. Let's go. What's going to go around? Oh, we're going this way, right? Come on, come on, go, 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 go. No one left behind. Oh, we didn't get to the Aparazzi tunnel. Hi! I recognise you. Hi, thanks for having us. Great. Thank you. Bubbles upstairs. Great. Great. As as so what do you do? I'm director of comms. For, amazing. For the really yeah, useful group, right? It's and LW Theatre too. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's just upstairs. And Malala's just come in as well. Wow. She's not mingling, as you can imagine. But um, Andrew. Malala, Malala the youngest person ever to win a Nobel Prize. She just got married. Yeah. You guys are having a good time? Yeah! So amazing! All the, the magic of theatre. I know you are, and you're wearing your sequin. Amanda and I'll dress me. I'm sending a father's a picture of them with Amanda. We'd really stand behind you filming you, and we'll reckon you're super, super famous. She's hot. It's hot, everybody. She's here. Yeah, it's Amanda's out. We can say we're doing some PR. Yeah. We are here in the press, and we've spotted you. Do you mind if we just said hello? Hello. Hi there. How are you, you doing? Mind? Hello, hello. I'm Georgie from Shill Arts, which will mean nothing to you, but anyway, we're here tonight to see Cinderella. I'm very Great. excited. Great, thank you. It's gone brilliantly, I hear. Yes, it's gone very well. Are you yes. excited about this one? Well, it's lovely. It's lovely. Yeah. yeah. I'm just waiting to be told to go on. Anyway, we're going to leave you alone, but we had to say hello. Thank you for having us. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you too. That is the man that wrote. He wrote everything. It's got to be done. You were in there, we're in here. Yeah. Okay, guys. See you later. I'm downstairs, so I'll see you later, right? Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Now we've kind of
round of golf. Well, thank you all for, all for coming. Please welcome Malala Yousaf. <laughs> I want to thank all of you for joining us in this special performance of Cinderella. So we want to ensure that we keep fighting for the rights of girls in Afghanistan to have access to education, for the education of refugee children as well, to create a world where no child misses their right to school. Thank you so much. What are you thinking of the show? Good. Who's your favourite character? My good stepsister. Oh, no, I decided we're coming back as the ugly stepsister. What do you mean coming back? Study. We're here. We were basically laughing out loud. I mean, babe, I was born trying prince. She's making us look bad, which is really hard because we're exceptional. Oh, that's so beautiful. You see this face? So beautiful. We're laughing and laughing. Arms around each other. G, can you give me a little half time review? I think it's awesome. So much fun. Love it. Okay, we'll get back in. Yeah, the other side. Enjoy the second half, guys. Bye. How was that? It was so good, wasn't it? Yeah. Great, right? What do you think? Andy. So good. Can we walk and talk to these cool. little girls? Let's go, oh, let's go, 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 go. Oh my goddy, what a good ending. <laughs> How much fun was that? That was so good. Did you love it, Rich? I really did, it was great, right? It was real magic, wasn't it? Actually, I remember, I mean, what a talent. What did you say? Best night ever. Yeah. Best night ever. Woo! Well done, well done, thank you. I mean, pretty no good for a Monday night. Just a normal Monday. And he's happy about it. Oh, 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 oh
Yeah. Anymore. Yeah, that's why I've got my job. It's it's really really well. yeah, exactly. This came out of lockdown. This used to be when my daughter's three and then my husband started working from yeah. home, obviously. And he wanted to be out here. Yeah. This is actually like a pull-out double bed. Oh, oh God, it's one of these. Literally, I was going to go home and be like, right, what can I do? <laughs> I Perfect. Well, I think we are intro in the kitchen because it's got such like amazing light. Let's just work our way up. Hi, my name's Laura. Welcome to my home. I wanted it to be like a standalone piece of furniture. Open shelf was a really important feature. Down and you talk about these lights. Yes. These lights are, are amazing. Where are they from? Vintage. I got them from the interior. I talk about the stools and just the lighting, and you point up to them because you think you'll be able to see. This island is probably my favourite piece. I did get a bit crazy with the lighting. I wanted to keep the vista really open, um, and I really needed some task lighting on the countertop. Great supplier who just kind of made it from a photograph. I had the shades made bespoke. I've picked up at an antiques fair as well. Lots of vintage artwork that I've picked up. Great. Perfect. Where are these uh, curtains from? These are Colfax and Fowler. It's kind of like a pom pom with an end. What I really like about it is the light. Look at that. So, welcome to my front room. Mm. Really needed updating. Really comfy. We had this fender done. So, this is my office space. Dry from Schumacher. Birdie Fortescue. Laura, how's the home tour going? Nice, it's really nice. Revisiting the house. Going back to those decisions and why I did them. And are you discovering anything by revisiting I'm it? I'm actually thinking. <laughs> if it means anything, I agree. Oh, okay. I love all the bobbin frames that you've got as well. I love a bobbin frame. A lot of things I love. I've loved for years and now they've become yeah. really trendy. Even the scallops, I mean, I did that a couple of years ago. Yeah. It's everywhere. Doesn't it annoy me, but I think, like, saying, I've always liked yeah. it. I'm not doing it just because it's a trend. And yeah, has your interior about. style always kind of remained the same? I've maybe gone more traditional with my age, maybe. Yeah. And also, I think it's this house because it's quite grand. Yeah. It felt more right to do something more traditional. Yeah. Um, now, shade, I got on Etsy. Birdie Fortescue as well. Always love this fabric. It's from Mulberry Home. So that's it. And thank you so much for joining me on my house tour. It's been such a joy to have Sheer Lux here in the house with me. There will be items which I've talked about linked in the credits below. Perfect. Yay! Thank you. Yay. Thanks for having us, Laura. We'll thank see you later. Thank you so much for coming. See you later. Bye. Bye. Good afternoon, Charlotte Leah Collins. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I am very well. Another amazing day. Wait, I think we bring the sunshine. You do. A very Christmassy day in London. I, it is one month today till Christmas. One month today? One month today. What are we doing here? We're here for a really exciting preview, I guess, is the word. Sheer Lux is teaming up with Covent Garden next weekend. We are teaming up with a variety of stores to offer an exclusive discount to Sheer Lux readers, watchers, all of the above. We're going to do a bit of a recce of all the exciting places that are offering a discount across the Sheer Lux Covent Garden weekend. Go to the counter and say Sherlock and they'll give you a discount. We're going to show you all the magical things that Covent Garden has to offer because actually, if you want to feel festive in London, it's probably the best place possible. And actually, if you want to do your Christmas shopping, it is easily the nicest place to come and do it. It has absolutely everything you could possibly want in the most beautiful Christmassy setting. Should we go and get Christmassy? Let's go and get Christmassy. Where are we going first? Okay, we're starting at Nars. When I say we, I think I'm going to go and have my makeup done. You probably won't. It's nice in here, right? It's so nice in here. And what are you going to ask for? An eye. My base is done. I don't have much in my eyes. What are your favourite Nars products? What do you go to Nars for? They're orgasm rich. They're orgasm highlighter. Yeah. They're pinky tones. I think that they're really well known. Yeah, it's Nars. They do everything well. What are you using? How are you feeling? Fabulous. It's good. You've got some Christmas pizzazz on your eyes now. Great. Lovely. That's really nice, actually. Yeah. That's perfect. Thank you so much. You are Christmas ready. Thank you for your time. Good red. The Rita slash Charlotte. It's written in the stars. Yeah. Where's Strathbury? You don't know. Where is Strathbury? It's going to give you somewhere random in the UK, isn't it? It probably is, yeah. Right, it's 253 feet away. This way. Onward. Oh, I think it's actually in oh, market. Inside. I think so. Sorry, but should we take a moment to admire the tree? Nowhere in London feels more festive in Covent Garden. Isn't yeah. that amazing? You can't beat it, can you? You really can't. I'm so up for Christmas feels this year. I mean, I'm sure everybody so is. Great. We'll do Strathbury, but then I think we get a mold right. Now we've come to Strathbury, which is in the market itself, actually. They've just got this gorgeous new store that's recently opened. And for those who don't know, Strathbury is a really lovely handbag brand. Leather accessories brand. Not a crazy price point. Beautifully made. So we're going to have a look at some of our favourites. I love this. They've obviously got this signature gold hardware. Isn't that cool? Just adds a bit of toughness. Love that. Very mm -hmm. clean lines, very elegant. Very clean lines. I mean, that's so smart. That's a really stylish evening bag slash cross body but it's like for everyone i love the colors got obviously the lovely brown and green oh look it's tricolor that is the most gorgeous autumnal color palette isn't it chestnut brown the khaki green and the burgundy so lovely so smart they're built to last as well aren't they plain brown as well very glamorous oh look there's a dinky mini one it's very sweet isn't it love the white look more interesting gold hardware Isn't that cool really different i mean that is 
so chic, isn't it? I love that green so much. And then look, the grey. I think this is actually my favourite. But I love the mix of the pale grey and the dark grey. It just goes with everything. And I like grey. It's a bit like a navy bag as well. It means you can wear it whatever the season. The price point on this style is 436. It'd be very hard push to get a lovely leather bag for that price. And second of all, it's really gonna last you. These are beautifully made bags. So so stylish. Right, let's get some mulled wine. Cheers. Salut. I thought it's really hot. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm really scared. scared. Oh, that's good. Oh, it hits the spot, doesn't it? Nothing hits like mulled wine. Nothing. Only on a very cold, crisp, beautiful day like today that it hits. Hang on, I want to get a late Instagram picture with my mulled wine and my and my big tree. Well, I'll get your car. Get you. Check where it is. Where's Floral Street? Oh, 328 feet away. So bad at Google Maps. We're going this way. So now we're heading to Ganny to do a bit of fashion. Oh my God, the it's snow. snowing. I told you there was snow. <laughs> oh my God, it's look, snowing. it's all over me. Delightful. It looks amazing. Beautiful. That's cute. Look at that. Love that. Should we back it? Okay, hang on. Ooh. So, first of all, I want that. If you're coming down here next weekend, what better time to come and get your outfit for Christmas Day, your outfit for Christmas party season? This is the piece. This is what you should be buying. You could always do a little layering situation as well, you know? What have you found? Really good coat. There's a lot of toggles around actually at the moment. Loads of toggled coats. This is a bit cooler than the rest. It's got a kind of bomber jacket finish. I think knitwear is going to be the winner. Look at this cardigan. Love that. Look at this amazing bell sleeve. Love that. Maybe I'll try on this X. Excellent coat, feel that. That's like a big blue cloud. Coat. I think I found the coziest coat in the world. I should have worn this today. Double pocket situation too. Happy days. I'm all for a pair of winter sunglasses. If people buy me sunglasses for Christmas, that would make me very happy. Sorry, they look mega. So much fun. They're cool. A pair of Ganny sunglasses is a very cool Christmas gift, isn't it? My kind of sunnies. Look at that. I knew it was going to be knitwear heavy. This cardigan is so sweet. There's a bit of a trend at the moment for these cardigans with attached collars, but I love the sparkly buttons as well. What a sweet, festive option. If you want a fun, festive knit, or even just a really cozy knit for season ahead, come and use your sheer like discount. Oh, look, there's a navy version as well as if it wasn't already sheer luxe enough. If that isn't Laura Black, I don't know what it is. You can't beat a Ganny t-shirt for Christmas as well. Good tabard alert. One thing you love. I like a tabard. Oh, that's my pick. It's a lot like my navy one, actually. I love that one. And of course, the pièce de résistance. The college puffer. The perfect jacket, though, isn't it? What was your pick of the store? The tabard. But also that coat was excellent. Oh, and I forgot about the festive cardigan. There's lots to love. There is a lot to love if you're a Ganny fan. <laughs> Wellington Street. Rich, I feel like we should just pop to Sugar Sin because I don't know what it is, but it sounds like somewhere I'd really like. Oh, Rich, I love sweets, you know. Should we get so something right. Oh my god, cute. You get Should we do a mini jar? Let's do a jar. Yeah, yeah, Should we get a chocolate yeah. banana? That sounds mega. Banana flavoured marshmallow covered in chocolate. Hang on, it's going to take well. up our entire jar. Let's be tactical about how we fill the jar. Hang on. Chocolate. Yeah, but not mint. Some kind of jelly bean would be good. Are you into licorice? Uh, jelly bean? Jelly some beans. kind That's of like jelly bean sized thing. No. Salty Swedish fish. Do you want one? Yeah. We've got to try some weird shit, haven't we? Whew, so stressful. Hang on, if you hold the lid open. I love them so much, I'm not happy about that. Do you really right, what else? Mammoth? Yeah, I do. Do you not? Uh, no. That sounds good. Watermelon dynamite. Yeah? What did you just say? Something about peanut? Peanut square. That's got to be good, right? I think chocolate and pick and mix is a massive error. I'm totally in the other camp because I do love you? Cho Yeah, chocolate and sweets mixed together. Okay, but then this is. Blueberry chameleon. I don't want that. Should we try one each? Yeah. Oh, hang on. A Spanish pear. That sounds lovely. Oh, and a sugar yeah. mice as well. Thank you. I'm going for the Spanish pear first. I'll go Spanish pear too. How's that taste? Not crazy. Oh, God, yeah. Gross. What is that supposed to be? I don't know, I don't know that at all. What do they do to pears in Spain? Someone needs to go to Spain and teach them about pears. I'm going for watermelon and sugar now. Watermelon and sugar? That tasted better the longer it went on. I've got a peanut square. Ooh, shit, How's this that? should go. It's like a Snickers. Yeah. But better. Ah. Oh, it's just like a fat one of these. This is chef's kiss. This is excellent. Want anything else? Oh, chocolate banana. Oh, yeah. One for Let's you. Let's go to one, yeah. Okay. Mm, yeah. I like that. You hate it. <laughs> no, I don't hate it. It's unusual. <laughs> I think that is absolutely banging. We're now going to go to Hen Halligan's. Gorgeous British perfumer. Perfumier. Perfumier. Oh, what a gorgeous store. In all seriousness, the Christmas gifts, you actually really can't beat Hen Halligan's. The most decadent, lovely, indulgent And Christmas the bottles are also giftable. Hi. Right? Years ago, we would have had the fireplaces mm. burning. Yeah. There's a conservatory in the back oh where we God. do private profiling. Look, Rich, it's like a bar. Basically, yeah. what we love to do is show people fragrance, but not necessarily show them from the bottle. And you've got so many. How many fragrances? Yes. How there many are, are there? There are over 50 fragrances. Wow. You've got the portrait family based on a British fictional aristocratic family. Mm -hmm. Our trade route series. Beautiful tea clipper ships navigating the world and bringing back rare and precious ingredients. So something like Halfetti. is a rare black rose blended with oud. Ooh. I, mean, I really like oudy yes. scents yes. here. That is it's sexy. Quite, it is. Sorry, but I just love the presentation of the bottle so much. You do it so well. And that we bought out to celebrate our 150. This one. Year. So it's a very important scent for us. So it's an Iris yes. and Mimosa. It's actually lovely. Someone's coming down here and they're looking for their Christmas gifts. What do you recommend? Always show them that how... That's so sweet. Aren't they lovely? <laughs> so we what would they always, always, always. You can. Oh, that's so dinky. You could hang that on a tree, could you? can. You? They're also lovely on the dinner table. Favour. Uh, so clever. Yeah, so you know, you've got the Jolly Mix and the Jolly Mix. Oh, I love that. So wow. That's Elizabethan Rose, I think you've got there. That smells like holiday. Fire. We've also done our candle collection, which sweet. is new. Scent libraries, we, we tend to do a 
as well. And then you've got the tree decorations. So this year is the candy cane. Really fun. And if you don't want this, they've done a beautiful red hat box this really year, smart. and you can have a bespoke box made. If you don't know what to get someone, yes. you literally cannot go yes. wrong with that. You can can't you? go wrong. No. Amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, on to the I'm feeling so jolly. Oh look, there's igloos on this side. Can you see? Oh, we found Christmasville. Oh, the seafood one is shark. Oh. Fried chicken. Christmas fried chicken. The Christmas bar. Pizza, churros, chicken. It smells excellent here. How sweet they've got a little Christmas market here as well. And look, Santa's sleigh. Do you want a picture of Santa's sleigh? Do you want a picture of Santa's sleigh? We've got Christmas igloos over here. Look at this. Oh How yeah, nice Christmas igloos. And now that is festive, is it not? Oh, this looks so festive. Well, here we go, Rish. This is a way to cap it off, isn't it? Dinner and a show. Charlotte, where are we now? We're upstairs at La Dury. So we've got the most beautiful view over the piazza and the tree. And we're going to try some macaroons. I've probably eaten my body weight in La Dury macaroons, but you've never had one. I've never had one, no. Which blows my mind. So you're going to love it. Oh my God, thank you, you so much. much. If you're coming to Covent Garden for the sheer like shopping weekend, this is a no brainer. You obviously have to come and do tea at La Dury this Christmas. If somebody's hosting you, you cannot beat macaroons as a gift for a host. They are so gorgeous. Hannah Straffatina once sent a huge platter of these to the sheer like office as like a Christmas thank you. And I've never forgotten a heavenly gift. Right, where are we going first? These are the newer flavours. These are all Christmas, are they? No, just this one. How's that taste? So delicious. It's fruity, like a Christmas you're getting like a mince pie vibe? Yeah, we actually are. Let's try the champagne one. It sparkles. That's good. Yummy. Yeah, really yummy. And the Marie Antoinette. Oh, the Marie Antoinette. We'll go blue next. Marie, people, they have no bread. Let them eat macaroons. Eh? Wow. Each one does taste so different. I mean, that tastes nothing like the others. Like, try that. Oh, wow. Right, last one. How did that go? I've had my makeup done. Strathbury, we saw some lovely bags, we saw some fab fashion, gorgeous perfumes at Penn Halligan's. We've had more wine, macaroons from the jury. And we've seen the fabulous treats. So basically, all in all, it's been the most perfect festive afternoon. I've had so much fun. I come and enjoy exclusive discounts for Sheila's readers at all these gorgeous places and have the best festive day out. So what could be better? Thanks, Charlotte. I'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Snowing again. <laughs>